SMT Nation, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could tune into this one. A bit of a prepaid special for you here today. This involves Verizon, Straight Talk, Simple Mobile, all these different track phone brands. We've got an update for you here, and this might impact some people. And then also we're going to take a look at some trends that are going on with Metro by T-Mobile and then also Cricket. So we got a pretty nice episode for you here today. we got a lot to include. All right, first of all, let me reference a couple of sources here. This is from the fine folks at bestmbno.com. The author is Joe P. And then also we've got Jeff Moore, the principal of Wave 7 Research. Um, I'll go ahead and link his Twitter account where I'm going to get some of this material. But let's start first with the Verizon story with the straight talk and the track phone situation. All right, so essentially when Verizon put in to buy and acquire track phone, we knew this day was going to come. All these different brands, like the ones that you see pictured here, all right, they all sit under this track phone umbrella. And some of these brands, you know, you could pick your carrier. You know, you could have access to the Verizon network. You could have access to the T-Mobile network. You could have access to the AT&T network. And you would choose basically based on your coverage. You would take the SIM card that was going to work best for you. And in many instances, that has been Verizon for a lot of people. So of their like 20 plus million customers on track phone, you know, a majority of them, you know, probably about 12 million or so, uh, maybe more, maybe 13 million were on Verizon. So the remaining were on AT&T and T-Mobile. And those people chose those SIMs for a reason. So this is where things get kind of hairy and dicey. Eventually, at some point, Verizon is going to want to move people along off of those other carriers and onto their native network. So those people at this point in time, you know, not only is Verizon shutting down the 3G network and so are the other carriers too, but you're going to also need a, a compatible phone to upgrade for the future relative to the networks, 4G, 5G, and so on. But also you're, you're going to have to have a new SIM card. And that may mean you getting a SIM from a company access, you know, that's completely different. So some people are going to have to get out of T-Mobile sims, and some people are going to have to get out of AT&T sims. And who knows? Maybe the networks have improved, but chances are there's going to be some disgruntled people. All right, so Straight Talk Wireless, Simple Mobile, Walmart, Family Mobile, all this stuff that's kind of caught up in this uh, pretty soon, right? Consumers will be able to activate track phone on any network through June 30th, 2022. But at, at that point, that's going to have to stop. So at in June... You know, this is going to change. You're going to have to activate on a Verizon SIM. So no longer activating AT&T and T-Mobile. I guess they're starting to send out notifications. Verizon is reaching out to customers and sending them texts, letting them know that they are going to be, I don't know, having to get them switched over. Uh, they're not charging people for the SIM cards, but they do have to give them a Verizon network SIM. And I guess they're enticing them by saying they're going to give them a free line of service. All right. Now, Straight Talk in and of itself, individually as a brand, has 9.5 million customers. The reason why, you know, like we're making a big deal about Straight Talk here specifically, that's a bulk of track phone users. So the rest of them, they're on Walmart, you know, all these other brands or whatever, Walmart Family Mobile. But this is going to be a situation to monitor. Okay, so here's an example. It's pictured here. Uh, this, it looks like it was taken from some kind of like Reddit post here. It says here, I use an AT&T device. I'd love to switch. Verizon has better coverage in my area, but then my phone wouldn't work. So there's a couple of complications there. You have a phone compatibility issue. You have a SIM compatibility issue. You could have a coverage issue. Very, very messy. Uh, this actually was disclosed from Verizon. They they made the statement here uh, describing that they they're going to honor MVNO agreements for up to three years after the transaction closes. I think it closed in, in November or something. I forget when it was, or maybe it officially closed a few months ago. But uh, you know, this is something to note. Uh, you just be on the lookout for text coming your way. Uh, I know Simple Mobile has already started with the new Verizon SIM cards. I know they're running some promotions. Things are still pretty competitive in that way. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to check your device compatibilities when you're making switches. Hopefully they, I don't know, can do something in terms of getting people on compatible devices and then, you know, making the SIM card switches pretty seamless and easy and uh, who knows, maybe charge free. All right. Comment down below if this is impacting you. If you have concerns about this, you got reservations, 
like I said, maybe it's the coverage issue, maybe it's the phone, maybe it's the SIM, uh, but there's going to have to be a workaround pretty soon. You're going to have to make a move at some point this year. All right, so next, this story from Jeff Moore, and actually, let me zoom in just a smidge. All right, Jeff Moore of Wave 7 Research brings up this interesting point here on his post on Twitter. He says, wireless retail is dead. Anyway, Cricket store count is now up by 48 compared to November. So we have new stores, new Cricket stores launching and opening. Uh, this one, I think, was taken somewhere in California, uh, the Cricket store there. And he's telling us that they're growing. Meanwhile, I think a lot of other prepaid carriers are downsizing. A lot of postpaid carriers are also downsizing. Uh, Verizon actually closed stores and never reopened them after the pandemic. I believe T-Mobile is probably going to be closing more stores as they consolidate their business and try to eliminate redundancies post-merger and then pandemic-related. AT&T, I think they've gone to like completely dealer. Uh, there's very few of the corporate stores now available to customers to use and utilize. And then, of course, prepaid, right? Every, I mean, the margins are so slim there. Uh, you, you can't have excess stores. I mean, look at all the things going on with Metro, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, with Metro, a, a news update. But this is interesting. Cricket is a growing carrier. This tells me, and I don't know exactly how at and the, does the reporting. I, I don't see Cricket numbers, but they seem to be a growing prepaid MVNO carrier. They must have some really good deals. Uh, they do have excellent promotions for handsets. They seem pretty competitive, and people are liking the network and enjoying their access with good plans, good rates, and they're growing. All right, so they're doing a nice job of adjusting to the times, and since November, they've added more stores, which is kind of the opposite direction of some other companies. All right. And let's go ahead and cap things off here. Uh, and actually, I'll probably do the actually. No, let's do the Metro story. I was going to change to a different one. Uh, this one also from Jeff Moore of Wave 7 Research uh, on May 18th. So about a week ago at the time of this recording, they launched a new TV ad pitching unlimited uh, at $40 per month for switchers. The offer is not new, but new to TV in terms of the advertisement means it's going to be around for a while. So they're pushing and advertising their service and trying to get people on there. It says here signs in the store windows are pitching the deal also. Uh, I don't think we need to watch this per se. It's called conquer, uh, conquering the cookoff. But a lot of people have wondered if Metro was going to be kind of like going by the wayside and T-Mobile was going to de-emphasize them. And that that might happen in the future. But based on this, they are still trying to get their switchers. This tells me they are actively trying to grab market share from companies like TrackPhone. They know that they might be churning because all this SIM card stuff and all this phone compatibility and network stuff. I think also Boost has still not addressed their porting out. They still have not addressed their churn. It's essentially industry worse, and it's been like that, sheesh, man, for essentially the last two years, right, since uh, the merger closed and in August, they kind of took over as the, you know, for, for the old sprint with Boost Mobile. So I think they're still taken. And who knows? Uh, they may have customers from other places too. But I think they realize that there is market share to take and, and they're going to aggressively advertise it. All right. So there you go. And then, of course, I think eventually at some point with good payments, good payment history, they'll be looking to move those Metro users over to Postpaid at some time and try to upsell them. But we'll see. We'll see how that plans out. What do you guys think about this Metro by T-Mobile little news blurb here from Jeff Moore aggressively marketing that ad? I mean, the price point is good, right? 40 month unlimited. I don't know what all the details are, the promos. And I know they do have free 5G phones, so they're aggressively involved there. And then you have the Cricket adding stores growing. Uh, that's another good thing for AT&T. And then Verizon with the straight talk issues and the plans and the SIM cards in the network. Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more. If you want updates like this and news of all things going on in wireless and tech, uh, also turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter and my Patreon page. Support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. And also my Gmail is in the description box as well for all business inquiries. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Peace.